Pretty soon, no more Japanese. Excited, Jack. Not hardly. Besides, when you've seen one, you've seen them all. Far as back to straight duty. Well, I don't believe you are destined for much anyway. How about my drink now? Know what you're gonna be tomorrow, Greaseball? A big hunk of dead meat? A little headline. It's better than a big bag of shit every day. Anything else you want? They are ready. Back up. invited you to the party. The governor. He wanted me to give you a little going away present. This looks more like a welcome back present. Who do you have to kill? Matthew Sevenick. He too big for the Pinkton boys? My life's not worth that much. What a little money make up the difference. Five hundred now, and a thousand when the job's done. I thought he worked for you. He did. Didn't work out, eh?
Hold it. You, Matthew Siboney? Give me your gun, Mr. Drum. I don't give my gun to anyone. Take it off. I'll take you off right at the neck. One hand. so I can watch you. You're pretty careful. How do you know me? What are you doing around these parts? Just passing through. Can I put my hands down? Nice place here. It's a shithole. Now, what do you want? I need a place to rest up. You look fine to me. Get your gun right on. I was wondering if I could sleep here for a day or so. Bounce me in trouble. I'm getting pretty tired living on the trail. Let's go paint our tonsils. I have to kill any other man who tries to take my gun. Yeah, I know. mistake I ever made was to let Charlie Bernardo draw first on me. Hell, I don't even remember what we were arguing about. What made you take up dirt farming? Dirt farming? <laughs> Hell, I'm not dirt farming. Gold! Black gold! If the railroad comes through here, I'll be rich. This country's full of it. Play drum. He's going to be staying for dinner tonight. Pleased to meet you. I don't know why an old notcher like me married a nice thing like that. She's so shy. She changes clothes in the barn. Where you headed? Figured I'd take a look at California. California. That's a long way off. Matt. Yeah. If the gentleman's staying for dinner, do you want to kill a chicken? All right. Want to wash up?
Pretty quiet for you, huh? <laughs> Hell, I've had enough excitement for one lifetime. Only got one more fight ahead of me, I reckon. Who is it? The railroad. They tried to buy me out a couple times, and I played like a possum. Here comes smoking one day. Have the government auction off my land and buy it for themselves. You know how they do. They've done it before. Are you coming to bed, Matthew? Get in the house, woman. She's got no shame. She's used to being out here alone with me, you know. I'm sorry I only got the barn to offer you. The barn is better than it seems to be. Well, I enjoyed your company. See you in the morning. Night. Night. Might jump in my old age. You are still pretty fast. I never could shoot worth a shit with a handgun. Well, come on in. Let's have some breakfast. Let me clean up, and I'll be there. Morning. Morning. Where's Matt? this stuff away with that cannon of yours. Don't interfere with me telling my wife something. Sorry. I just wanted to do something to repay your hospitality. Cleaning dead rabbits ain't it. Who are you working for? I told you. Just passing through. The where? I told you. California.
get you put in those rabbits for me, please. Why don't you go in the house and cook them? Or are you saving them for a souvenir? Pretty calm knowing the real world is coming after you. Well, I never learned how to run. Besides, this is my land. What about her? Won't they kill her too? The land goes to my brothers, and they'll have to kill all of us. They will. Well, I ain't gonna make it easy for them. I used to work for that railroad five years ago. I had to kill a whole family, down to the dogs and the cats and the chickens. I guess it's my turn now. But it don't matter who you are or what you've done for them. You get in their way, and they're going to move you. You do take care of that cannon. Well, it's been a good old gun to me. Damn thing, it'd take your arm off over a mile. A man could live a long time with that kind of distance between him and his enemies. That's the idea. My brother Virgil and his wife Barbara. Hi. This is my brother Hank. This is Johnny, and this Hi. is Duke. Hi. This is Barbara's brother. This is Clayton Drum, boys. Nice to meet you. And this is Virgil Jr. <laughs> How a man knows what's inside of a woman's stomach, I'll never know. <laughs> it's simple. He put it there. That's how. <laughs> Where do you learn that bad language, boy? Come on, let's have a drink. <laughs> Eat, 
1869 was the date of the year. Those Waterloo sportsmen and more did appear for to gain the great prices and bear the woe never counting on Ireland and Master McGraw. On the 12th of December, that day of renown, those Waterloo sportsmen Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Good. Good. Oh, thank you. And then it's a There's a chance singing no more, let's dance. I'll come off that high horse of yours and dance with me. I don't feel like that. Someone ought to take your down Just some ordinary man, his morals wouldn't keep him from shooting you in the back.
I'm going to fix breakfast. my husband. He found out and started beating me. He's going to come after you. I didn't mean to kill him. 
A man's life for a moment's weakness. Doesn't seem like a fair exchange. What am I going to do? That's your decision. But I wouldn't stay here anymore. Will you take me to Liberty? I can get the stage from there. Do you need any money? I've got his rifle. He told me once he could get a hundred dollars for it. You're not selling that gun to anybody but me. I'll give you a hundred dollars. Now take me. Why not? I have a feeling you are going to be trouble. Anybody here? Hello? Oh, excuse me. My husband is resting. I need a room for me and uh, Mrs. Three dollars in advance. Fifty cents extra for the bat. The dinner at seven o'clock. One dollar for each one. Twenty-five cents for the breakfast. Fifty cents to take care of your horse. Your ass will shrivel up if you stay in there much longer. the story about the two cowboys came across the ranch's daughter taking a bath. <laughs> One of them turned to the other and said, she just showed me her tits. What should I do? The other one said, 
sure you're not. <laughs> so the first one turned to her and goes. <laughs> I stand out next to them. You'll do. You're the only man I've ever been with beside my husband. Well, you're the second married woman I've been with. What happened to the first? I shot a husband. Right after he killed her. You want something else, Mr. Sibonik? These will do. Two dollars. Did your husband fix any breakfast? Yes, yeah, really no. I'll have to make some coffee. Just eat your breakfast. Where's Matt? Back at his place. The lady here killed him defending herself. I'm taking her to liberty. If that be the case, I'm taking her back. Sorry. She's coming with me. It ain't your affair, mister. Either I take her or I pull on you. I wouldn't. You got a wife. And a kid coming. They need you much more than Matt needs, sir. It's suicide. I can't help that. That's enough. Let's go. See who's coming. The cross from the way station. They see what prefer Kiamora. It's finished, Matt. We'll do it when we get back. He ain't gonna go no place.
choices do I have? Lordy, I'll teach in school. <sighs> Get married again. I've always tried to find peace in myself. It's not good to rely on people or things, on new places to make you happy. I need you tonight. And I hate you. Oh, water. What are you doing out here? Doing pee pee. Please give me a hand. Come on. I wandered away and they overlooked me. Who's they? Circus. What's that? Circus. A place where people. Come to laugh. Guard the little slip ups. Hey, Mom. I'd rather climb on her. Would you rather walk? I don't mind. Like they cleared out. <laughs> Not before getting to know each other real well. Cottrell's woman said they was acting like newlyweds. And he was spilling seed in your missus all night. Well, if he didn't have cunts, there'd be a bounty on him. Drum to bring in a hundred people a week. They come from miles around to see you shoot. Not interested. Look, I'll give you 50 bucks a month and 20% of the take. My life's worth more to me than being a sad show. A main attraction. Suit yourself. What's that stuff? I don't know, but a few sips of this and you won't feel any pain. Here, take one. The show's about to start. Can we stay for it? Yourself. 
Manny, Clayton Drum just drove into town with a woman. I hope he does the shooting in her. Yeah, well, they just checked into the hotel. Where's my deputy? Over at Cassie's. Do me a favor. Go get my deputy. He'll have to take over for a couple of days. I got duties in Juarez. Hey, where are you going? You can't go in there. What's this? Give me a receipt. Sold there. Five hundred dollars. Seven next day. But I didn't kill him. I am here to see an old friend, Mr. Drum, perhaps. What's the matter? It's only your husband. Are we gonna get him outside? I don't know. But I sure don't want to rush him.
just blew Duke all to hell. This is because of your whoring. And we'll be planning your stud for sundown. <gasps> Why the tears? <gasps> I'm here. No. No. I can still smell them all over you. are for. Okay, you know what to do then. Don't worry, he's as good as dead. Go with her. Ah, leave her alone. Open the door, Cassie. Clay, we heard you was dead. Give me a drink, Cassie. I'll get you one. Tell Henry to get in here. Who's there? Right on the run. You scared the living hell out of me. Sorry. Where are the Sedlocks? They rode out this afternoon. Was there a woman with them? Yeah. I need a couple of horses. It's gonna be a cold night. 
Same here. Looks like we'd better get some more wood for the fire. <laughs> I know how we can all keep warm. Shut up, Johnny. I'll break every bone in your face. She's still my wife. Get cold. Thought you might need a another blanket. I have a face. You'll always have a place to sit. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Matt. Matt, damn it, Matt. You're gonna kill your own brother. you. Not no more. I'm a laughing stock wherever I go. I never meant to hurt you. Well, you damn near killed me. Out of things. I'm not letting y'all cook that easy. It's a why of it I don't understand. I thought you were dead. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know. It wasn't you. Did you kill him? No.
Remember, wait till they're afoot. for position. Stupid. Cover him. It's probably that goddamn plate and drum. I thought your brother was supposed to take care of him. This hasn't turned out well. I see that son of a bitch up there. Well, I guess we better go for it. It's better than sitting there and shot. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! You must be crazy. Then this doesn't have to be. The hell it doesn't. Miss Virgil and Duke. Nothing's gonna change that. Nor this. satisfied now? You ain't gonna last long, son. There ain't no soft-hearted gunfighters.
Thank you.